The Buddhist defense or gambit is d4, knight f6, c4, and now e5. Today we're looking at nine awesome traps from either white's perspective or black's perspective that can give quick advantages and often even checkmates. Let's begin. Trap number one that we'll look at is after d takes on e5, you play knight to g4. Let's say they play bishop f4, you go g5, kicking back the bishop. They give you back the pawn, and in exchange they play a move like e3, looking to develop quickly. You go d6, bishop to e2, bishop to e6, and now bishop c3. And suddenly white is aiming at this diagonal, so after the move knight to b to c6, uh, looking to reinforce this knight, well suddenly f4 comes, and after takes takes, you're losing the knight or the rook behind it. The second trap that we're looking at is in this position, let's say they take again, knight to g4 again, bishop to f4, and instead of g5, you go knight c6. They go knight f3, defending the pawn, bishop b4 check, knight to d2, queen to e7, and now they play the move h3, kicking away your knight, and you take. And after knight takes, knight takes, let's say they play a3, kicking away the bishop, However, what they have forgotten is that you've lined up your queen, so knight to d3 is checkmate. Moving back to this position, trap number three is again if they take, again, knight g4. We have bishop f4, knight to c6, knight to f3, bishop check, knight blocks, queen to e7, and this time instead of h3, they go a3, but it's a very similar position, a different move order, but you get a very similar result after knight takes. If they take the bishop, there's checkmate again. So as you're seeing, common theme in these traps is this checkmate along this e-file. Moving back, let's continue with trap number four. D takes, and now you go knight g4, only this time instead of bishop f4, they go queen d4, looking to centralize the queen and also give this king more breathing room so traps like what we just saw won't happen. Here you can continue with d6 to defend the knight with the bishop. They take, you take with the bishop, and let's say they go c5. Now you go knight to c6, queen moves back, and knight takes f2. The idea being after king takes, bishop g3 winning the queen, uh, whatever they take back with, you can then take back the queen. Moving on to trap number five, after e5, they take again, knight g4, and this time knight f3. Here you continue with d6, d, b, e takes d6, bishop takes d6, and now h3, and once again, very similar trap, knight takes f2, king takes, and bishop g3, and now you win the queen. So now you are, you're not only seeing traps along this e-file with the checkmate, but you're also seeing this common trap of luring the king away and then winning the queen. Moving on to trap number six, this time we'll finally move on to d5, which is the other option that white has. Here, you can continue with bishop to b4 check, knight blocks with knight to c3, you go d6, and suddenly you hang your bishop because of this diagonal. So as black, make sure you're always being careful of this diagonal once you push d6, especially because, notice, They've played c4 very early on, so they have very easy access to this diagonal. So in positions like this, before you play d6, first take, making sure that checks like these are not dangerous to you at all. Moving on to trap number 7, knight to f6, of course, c4, e5, and now if they continue d5, let's say you play the move bishop c5 instead. Here they go bishop g5, and now let's say you go knight to e4 hanging your queen, but not really, because if queen is lost, then there's checkmate. What if instead they move bishop to e3? Well, then you can take, take, and go queen h4, and after g3, knight takes, and if they take the knight, you win the rook. And if they, by the way, just simply move the knight here, well, you can maintain this pin, and at some point retreat with your knight. It's not that big of a deal. After bishop to g5, you can also start and change the move order with bishop takes f2, king takes knight to g4, let's say, king moves back, and you win the bishop, you've won a pawn, 
and dislocated the king, forcing it to move. And, uh, you know, so you have a couple of options. You can go here, hope they take the queen and then mate them, or a safer option, because, of course, by going here, they don't have to take the queen. So a safer option, perhaps, is to first take here and then be sure to win a pawn and dislocate their king. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these awesome nine traps. If you did, then subscribe if you're new around here, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.